Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to add a macro button. I really like using them because I hate doing the same thing over and over again. And macros give me the ability to program SolidWorks to do essentially whatever I want. Um, what I want in this case is to save out an STL. So I've created a macro. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that in a later video. But I just want to, when I open up a file, instead of having to go up and do file save as, I want it to save the STL wherever this document is. So I'm just going to go up to the top here to uh, customize this command ribbon at the part level and I'll go to commands and then we'll find macro in there and we can find our macro button. We can just drag and drop it wherever we want. And then we can browse for our macro. That's a SWP file. Again, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to create this later. And then uh, if you have an icon, you can just say choose icon and you can find your bitmap. So I have a little STL icon I've saved. And you know, if you wanted to change what the tooltip says, you could say it, change that. And then we can just hit OK here. Now all I have to do in order to create an STL of any file that I open is go up and hit STL conversion. And you can see it saved there. I also have this one change the image quality too, so I get a little bit better um, quality on my STL. So hopefully this helps you guys. Um, again, I'll show you how to create the conversion file um, in an upcoming video.